Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding probabilities uh, and we're going to have to use combinations. Alright, so just real quick to refresh your memory, remember the probability of some event occurring, some event E, is the number of successful the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Okay, That's probability. The number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Okay, But, but this time in, er, in, in order to determine the number of successful and the number of possible we're going to have to use combinations to do that. That's the only difference from, you know, some of the problems that you may have been working to uh, find in probability. You've just been able to count them easy. Uh, but this time we'll have to use combinations. <clears throat> All right. So the problem we have here, it says a manufacturing company performs a quality control analysis on ceramic tiles it produces. It produces the tiles in batches of 24 pieces, and in the quality control analysis, the company tests three pieces of tile per batch. So every time they get 24 pieces, they'll choose three of them and test them. Okay. Now, let's suppose a batch of 24 tiles has four defective tiles in it. So of those 24, there's four defective. So that means there's 20 that are good. And so when that batch of 24 comes out, we're going to choose three of them and just randomly test them. <clears throat> so they want to know what is the probability that exactly one of the three tested tiles is defected, is defective. Okay. All right. So we want to know the probability of a, and we're, I'm just going to call it event E. Event E is represents exactly one of the three is defective. <clears throat> All right, so we need the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. All right, so let's just real quick let's get the number of possible outcomes. Okay, so possible. Let's do that in a different color. Let's do it in red. Uh, possible outcomes. <clears throat> All right, so possible outcomes. There's 24, right? There's 24, and how many of those am I choosing? I'm choosing three of them. Now, does the order that I choose matter? No. It makes no difference which order I choose those in. Because remember, if order if order mattered when I'm choosing them, that would be a permutation. But the order doesn't matter, so it's a combination. So that would be combination. There's 24 tiles, and I'm choosing three of them. Okay. So this is going to be my number of possible outcomes. And when you punch this into your calculator, and I'm not going to go over the calculator. Uh, you can check your man manual, or if you have one of the little scientific calculators, the little uh, cover that comes with the calculator, there's a card in there. Those usually show you how to put in combinations and permutations in your calculator. But if I punch that into my calculator, I get 2,024. Okay, so there's the number of possible outcome. So that's 2,024. Now let's look at the number of successful outcomes. Okay, so here we have successful outcomes. All right, <clears throat> so what's a, success, what's a successful outcome? Well, in this case, a successful outcome. All right, I'm, 
I don't know, something happened with the computer, but anyway. A successful outcome is what? One defective, right? And two that are good or not defective, okay? Because remember, we're choosing three of them, and we want to know the probability that one of those three is defective. So a successful outcome is one defective and two that are good because there's three total that, that we're picking. All right. So, <clears throat> all right, let's look. How many different ways can we choose a defective tile? Well, that's combination. Well, how many defective tiles are there? Well, it says suppose a batch of 24 tiles has four defective tiles. So there's four that are defective, and I'm choosing one of them. Okay? And then I want two tiles that are good. Okay? So times combination, and I'm choosing two good tiles. Well, how many good tiles are there? There's 20 because see there's 24 of them okay the batch consists of 24 pieces 24 tiles okay so if four of them are defective so that means four are defective so that means 20 of them are good so there's 20 of them and how many of those am I choosing well I'm choosing two of them and one way that you can look and check yourself is you see there's the one defective plus the two that are good adds up to the three pieces that we're testing. Okay, And so when we punch this into our calculator, we end up with 760. So this is 7. 60. And so <clears throat> if you put that into your calculator, you get a decimal point 3755. And so that's the probability. So there's about a 37.55% chance that one will be defective. All right, so let's look at this next one, next part. It says, if at least one of the tiles in the batch is defective, the company will not ship the batch. What is the probability the batch is not shipped? All right, so we want to know what's the probability that we have at least one defective. Okay, all right. So, what does that mean? Well, that's the probability of what? That's the probability of what? One defective or the probability two defective or the probability that all three are defective. You see that? See it says, what's the probability at least one? So what's at least one? That means one or two or three. So we've got to find all of these probabilities. Okay, got to find all those probabilities and then add them up. All right, so what's the probability that one is defective? Well, we did that up here. Okay, so we would, we would do this and find that one is defective. That's the probability that one is defective. Now let's look at the probability that two are defective. Okay, so let's write let's write this down. Uh, the probability one defective. That's this value, point three seven five five. All right. Now let's look at the probability two are defective. Ok. 
Okay. So remember, it's the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. So to get that, remember the number of possible outcomes. Well, remember we calculated that up here. That's what? That's combination. There's 24 and we're choosing 3. Okay, just like we did in part A, the number of possible outcomes. Now, let's get the probability that two are defective. Okay, all right. So, so what's a successful outcome? That means what? Two defective and one that is good. Because remember, we're, draw, we're choosing three of them. So two of them will be defective and one of them will be good. That's a successful outcome. That's what we're looking for here. All right, so how many ways can we choose two defective? Well, that's what combination. There's four defective and how many are we choosing? Two times and then we need to choose one of them that's good. So that's combination. Well, how many good tiles are there? Well, remember, there's four defective and there's 20 of them that's good. So there's 20 good ones. And how many of those are we choosing? One. Okay. And then when you punch that into your calculator, you get 0 0.002. Okay. Now, we need the probability three are defective. Okay, probability three are defective. All right, so that's the number of successful outcomes. Well, that's 24 choose three combination, 24 choose three. Okay, so what exactly does that mean, three defective? That means we want three defective and zero that are good. Okay, so how many different ways can we choose three defective? Well, we know there's in the batch of 24, there's four of them that are defective and we want three of them. Okay, and we want zero that are good. So that's times combination. Well, how many good tiles are there? Well, there's 20 of them. And how many of those do we want? We want zero. Okay, so this is the number of successful. And so the three, let's see, the three is point zero zero two. I'm sorry, I wrote that down wrong. Is zero zero two. And exactly two would be point zero five nine three. I already had these calculated and I just looked at the wrong one but yeah the point zero zero two that goes here and then exactly two defective is this one. Okay so so now the probability the probability at least one defective is equal to the probability that one is defective plus the probability two plus the probability of three. So that's going to be the 0 0.3755, 0 0.3755 plus the probability two is defective, that's 0 0.0593 plus the probability three is defective, 0 0.002. And so this would give us a probability of 0.4368. So it's about a 43.7% chance that at least one will be defective. Okay, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a subscribe, and thanks for watching.